Hi, so today was one of those days in quarantine where I had the urge to clean up. Like at the beginning of quarantine, I cleaned up like my whole room, like put all this stuff up, you know what I'm saying? So today I was like cleaning out my closet. And that adventure led to me finding all my old dance costumes, which you will see in a second all over my bed. So there's all of those. Um, and so I saw Cameron Bridges doing this, who was on Dance Moms, and she tried on all of her old costumes. And I was like, I need to do this one day. So I thought that today would be the perfect day because I have them all over my bed right now. I don't know how this is gonna go because um, she was did like two dances a week and I do like two dances a year so all these costumes are not gonna fit so i'll try to like put on the ones that do fit yes i am bored if you didn't know um so i'm gonna be putting like um crop top and booty shirts shorts underneath everything just so like you know nothing pops out should i do it in chronological order no i'm just gonna do it randomly okay Here's the first costume. Sorry the angle's kind of weird. It's the only place in my room that I can put my phone. And clearly we had a minion dance. Well, this is supposed to go underneath, but there's no way that this is gonna fit onto me. I am genuinely concerned as to how I put this costume on. It obviously is tight. But I was in seventh grade when we wore this <laughs> costume. After getting the best part. Let me stand up. Oh. We got these sexy leg warmers to go with it. Really just put the costume together. So this is a jazz large group. And um, honestly, this costume is really comfortable and actually really cute. I love this. These buttons up over here and it looks really good with the yellow underneath so i love that and i did really like this dance because i love the stickable me look at us grew with this minion ah. all right my next costume okay this one's actually really pretty i actually really like it um this was more recent this was when i was in grade nine i believe um the dance was called oceans so we got this nice flowy skirt and I didn't do it the back because I can't do it myself. Ooh, sorry the lighting's bad, you can't really see it that well. Okay, so for this costume, um, I remember like the first time we saw it, it was just like the bodysuit. None of these like, like ah, couplings were on it. The skirt wasn't on it. Um, and the rhinestones weren't on it, so it was like so ugly. I remember I didn't like it at the beginning, but it turned out to be really nice. All right, this, costume was from the same year as the one right before um so basically we were supposed to be voodoo dolls um it was an extended line we all had this like costume and all the strings were different for everyone as you can see i definitely put it on wrong something's not right back there um but we had like a giant voodoo doll in the middle and then like when someone stabbed her we named her susan and we'd be like it's actually a really cool dance R.I.P. Susan. Oh my gosh. Okay, this was <laughs> this was my first solo costume. It's clearly very small, and I don't know how I got it this far up because I was ten years old, and I can't really breathe right now. But yeah, um, the song was Safe and Sound from The Hunger Games, and it's very iconic because it's my first solo, and it was lyrical, and it was really bad. <laughs> Okay, so this is one of my favorite dances ever. It was my jazz group called Tigger's Got a Bounce. I'm surprised I got it over my hips, but this part is obviously not gonna fit. I was also 10 um, and that's not gonna go, but I love it. It has fuzzy shorts and I love it. I love this dance. Okay, so this was a dance. Oh my gosh, look how short this skirt is. I'm wearing shorts underneath. But it was called Hey Baby. It was supposed to have this top underneath, but again, no way that this is gonna fit on me. And these are the shorts underneath. Tiny. And I 
kind of managed to get the jack oh sorry jacket on and i remember it was the most itchiest thing and i literally like this is the most uncomfortable thing ever and we had a hair piece i remember shopping for this fake hair it was like a curly ponytail and yeah it was quite like the extravagant costume Okay, this is um, a costume for my favorite solo. I am obsessed with black. You can't see it because I have my very strappy sports bra underneath. But, oh yeah, that looks really weird. But like, I'll insert a picture. So basically for this dance, I was a month, one minute. There we go. I had these beautiful gloves on. And it was very iconic. I loved it. So this was another challenge to get on. Well, obviously, I have grown a little since I was 10. Not very too comfortable, very itchy, but it was like a nice lyrical routine called lay your head down. Look how red my arm is from trying to get that off. Okay, I'm not sure what's going on here. What? Oh, oh there we go. We were dentists. Oh, and they get my gloves. Perfect. This was our costume. We actually wore these on stage, these beautiful gloves. Okay, our they smell so bad. They smell like the doctors. I'm already sweating in these. Imagine wearing gloves this tight on stage. We whenever we took them off, all of our hands were like dripping with sweat. Like drips were coming off of our hands and our hands were wrinkly because of the sweat. It was literally insane. But I really did like this dance. One one of my favorite like jazz dances. It was like cool choreo. I probably just like do the whole thing right now. Wait, I'm gonna do a side by side. Okay, um, this was my second solo. It was lyrical solo um, to the song Summer Only We Know. And okay, this is actually very like comfortable. Like obviously it's tight. I was in seventh grade and I actually really like this costume. Like it's actually so nice. And I love like the velvet. It's like velvet everywhere in here. And it has like these matching like flowers and like this mesh. I just love it. It's so nice. Okay, so everyone already knows about this one already, but um, I just had to include it. It wouldn't be right if I didn't. Um, yeah, so I was Voldemort. We did a pro sorry, I cannot breathe in there. It smells like death. Um, so our studio did a production to Harry Potter, and I was lucky enough to be casted as Lord Voldemort. Okay, wait, I'm so confused as to how I just put this on. The fabric is very stretchy, like look at that. But I'm pretty sure I was like seven. It was my ballet dance. Oh my gosh, I had an accessory. Okay, so all of us had these Hello Kitty stuffies. Like this was like a prop for a dance, we'd like dance with this. And it has like lipstick stains on that. But can we take in this costume? flowers embroidery and sparkles insane oh my gosh is this a hairpiece oh these are for your arms oh my gosh look how cute that is put her in my hair right now i'd wear this to prom Oh, I remember what it was called now. It was called Toy. Because we had like a toy stuffy. Genius, Miss Rosemary. Alright, so this was very recent. This was last year. It was a jazz dance that was called Salem. Um, so basically there was witches and there was pilgrims. And I was a witch. And we all had handcuffs. Because like it was based on like the Salem witch trials. We were like handcuffed. And then, oh my gosh. So we had to like undo our handcuffs, so we had to like do this. Seems very simple, right? Clearly not for me. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> so it turns out I forgot a very vital part of the costume. We had this fake braid headband that we wore. Look at her. I like this dance, it was really fun to do. We did like some cool moves. Like. Oh, wrong way. Oh, that's kind of artsy. I have a globe collection. Maybe I'll do a room tour. Okay, so here is 
my lyrical costume. I was in grade eight. Um, this was a dance that was called Imagine, you know the song? Imagine this costume is very pretty. Um, I did not, I'm not doing up the back for any of these costumes. I don't have time for that. This costume was very pretty, except that the fact that um, it was white and literally underwear. And many teenage girls may not have enjoyed that too much. All right, so this costume was my third solo, lyrical solo. Um, it is like so pretty, but I cannot put the whole thing on because if you look at the back, there's no, there's no clip. It's just, it's just all connected. I don't want to get stuck in here. I remember at the time, I was in grade eight. Um, at that time, I still couldn't even, I had trouble taking it off and putting it on. I'll show you how pretty it is. Just like look at all that detail it was like really expensive but it's so pretty and i always got compliments backstage on it okay so this was my first and my last musical theater group we were like the cast of like charlie brown i was charlie brown this is very tight for me and i'm not sure how i'm gonna get it off oh i have a picture of everyone's outfits i'll go show you so we all got these frames that year oh well, that's me beautiful um, I was nine, I think, eight turning nine, um, grade four for sure, and, oh, they wrote a nice note. Should I read it? Evia, thank you for your great smile and energy in class. You are an incredibly hard worker, and we look forward to seeing you grow into a beautiful dancer. That's nice, but... I love the studio the year after that, so they didn't get to see me grow. Okay, but like, I could wear this, like, you know, it's like a cute crop top now. Maybe I'll be Charlie Brown for Halloween. You're gonna see me whipping this shirt out, and you're gonna know what it's from. Okay, so I'm back into my normal clothes, my beautiful tie-dye shirt that I made, actually, when she's artsy. <laughs> um, so I think those are all the ones that I can fit into. I'm gonna show some other iconic ones. Now I'm gonna show some other iconic ones like on camera because I, I can't I can't put them on. Can't put this costume on, but I can put the headpiece in. Yeah. Okay, so this was a dance called Buggy Fever, and I was actually really happy about the song because it's in Despicable Me, and that's when I was obsessed with that movie, and I was like, no way I'm doing a dance with the song. Um the costume's actually so fun, it goes with the dance so well. Um, I, I love this little tail going on. Overall, great costume. And it was my first dance at PDC, best studio, not sponsored. Okay, this one was also my first year at PDC, but this is like my favorite dance ever and my favorite costume ever. It was a lyrical trio, the song True Colors. I wish it still fit me. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. We had this that like went in her hair. Well, we're supposed to have two, but at showcase one was lost and <laughs> our teacher was really bad. But I love this costume, it looks so cute. Um, I was 10. This was the top that it came with. It's a cute little sash going along here. Um, obviously it looks better on, but obviously this ain't gonna fit me. Uh, my dance teacher said it reminded her of fruit roll-ups and that is very true and I want to eat it now. Okay, this was my first jazz dance. It was, wasn't competitive, but it was called Material Girl. But look at this costume. It had this tail and then, oh my gosh, this was our headpiece. I wish this costume fit me, but unfortunately I was five years old. Okay, this was my first ever competitive dance. I was six. Um, the song was Hey Mickey. And we had a nice red headpiece and I don't know where that is, but I do have the gloves it came with. So it was like the nice red pop to go with it. This was my top costume to the song So Happy Together. I'm showing this one because I have a video to go along. Okay, I'm sick of showing costumes. I have more, but I got all the important ones done. 
Okay, now that my room is officially a mess, um, that is all the costumes for today. I want to see my bed right now. It's a mess. And it is currently 11.09 p.m. And I don't, I don't want to clean it up, but I have nowhere else to sleep, so that's what I'm going to be doing. Thanks for watching.